Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at LeetCode problem number 54, Spiral Matrix. So given an M by N matrix, return all the elements of the matrix in spiral order. Spiral order over here is just going around the perimeter. So 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, and then 5. And we have to just return back the output in the spiral order. So let's see how we would iterate through a matrix in spiral order. Spiral order is really just going through the perimeter, starting from the top, then the right side, then the bottom row, then the left side, and then you're done. You have to repeat the process on a smaller perimeter. So in order to keep track of the boundaries of the perimeter, what I'm going to do is initialize four variables. C left controls the, the left side of my perimeter. C right controls the right column. R top controls the top row and R bottom controls the bottom row. These four variables allow us to define a perimeter of what we're scanning. Then I'm going to introduce the idea of scanning a specific direction. In this case, we're going to start the direction at the top. So the direction is top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the R top index for the row. And I'm going to scan all the elements from C left to C right, because that defines my boundary points. So I scan one, then I scan two, then I scan three. Now I finished with the top row, so I have to move R top. I'm going to change the boundary now. Since we scan that row, we have to change the perimeter, right? So I move R top one below, and now I need to change my direction. Well, like we said, we're following the perimeter. So first we scan the top. Now we need to scan the right side, right, at C right. So now my direction goes from top to right. Now the idea is to scan C right, that column, so four, and then five. We add that to the result. Then we move C right. So now we change the perimeter. The perimeter. We already scanned that C right column. So now we move C right to the left one. And like this, we're keeping track of um, the sub perimeter that we need to scan. Now we scan the right side. The next uh, direction to use is the bottom, right? So now let's scan the bottom using our bottom and C right and C left. So now we're at six, seven, we move our bottom. And then now we have to do the direction, the left direction, right? In this case, it's just the element eight. And now we, we move C left and we cycle back to the top direction. So notice that we just scanned the entire perimeter first by scanning the top direction, then the right, then the bottom, then the left. And by moving the R top, R bottom, C left and C right pointers, we effectively defined a new perimeter. And now we just scan the last element nine and we're done. Our top is now passing our bottom and we completed the spiral uh, traversal. Now the time complexity of this is O of NM because we iterate through each of the elements in the matrix once. And the space complexity is also O of NM because we store all the elements of the matrix inside of the result array. All right, so coding out the solution is actually the tricky part since we're dealing with a lot of different pointers. So first I wanna start out by initializing my variables. So we know that we need a mapping of the current direction to the next direction, right? So I'm gonna define a hash map next direction. And if we're at top, then the next direction is the right. If we're at right, then the next direction is the bottom. If we're at bottom, then the next direction is the left. And then if we're at left, then we recycle back at the perimeter, right? We basically scan top again. So this is gonna allow us to give a current direction and find the next direction. Then I wanna define M and N, uh, just cause we're gonna be looping through a lot of different indices. And so this is len of the matrix and this is len of the matrix zero. Now I'm gonna define my result that we're gonna dump the elements into the result array. And now we define the R top, the R bottom, and the, the C left and right. So R top, R bottom is equal to zero and M minus one. These are the indices at which we initialize them. C left, C right is equal to zero, N minus one. And then we have direction is equal to top. Remember, this is the first direction that we start at. Now we're gonna say while the length of our result does not equal 
m times n. Remember that m times n um, is the size of the matrix. So we need to make sure that we scan all the elements. Now we're going to deal with each direction separately. So if direction is equal to top, remember that means we have to scan. We have to scan the row at the I index of R top. So we're going to say 4J in range, C left. We start at C left and we include C right. We have to go from C left to C right, but include C right. So we just do C right plus one because the range is not inclusive over here for Python. So by saying C right plus one, we're going to include C right. Now I'm going to say res.append matrix, and now we're using our top for the row, and we're using J to scan through that entire row. Now we're going to say our top plus equal one. Remember, we have to uh, change the size of the perimeter that we're going to scan. So since we scanned this row, we increment the R top pointer. Now let's take a look at the right case. So elif direction is equal to right for i in range r top to r bottom plus one so now we need to scan uh the column at c right and we're going to go through all of the rows from r top to r bottom inclusive so res.append matrix at i and what is the column well we're interested in the c right column right because this is the right direction now after this we're going to say c right minus equal one so we decrement C right because we already scanned this column. Now let's take a look at if the direction is bottom. So over here, 4J in. Now we have to be careful. We're interested in the range from C left to C right plus one, right? But when we're scanning the bottom, we go from right to left. We don't go from left to right. So we're going to have to reverse this range. We really want to start from C right and then go to C left. So we're going to reverse the range here and we're going to say res.append matrix r bottom and over here we're going to use j so this is going to allow us to scan the bottom row in reverse order so from c right to c left then r bottom minus equal one now else or elif the direction is left this is our last case then we need to scan uh, the left column but going from r bottom to r top right so a similar thing is going to happen here we're going to use reversed range r top to r bottom. And this is going to allow us scan the left column going from r bottom to r top. So res.append matrix i c left. And then c left plus equal one. Now we dealt with all the cases, but we still didn't change the direction, right? So at the last step, we have to say direction is equal to next direction and the current direction. And that's going to use the hash map we defined over here to get the next direction. So if I'm at top, what's going to happen is I hit this uh, if branch, I scan the top row, I increment our top by one, and then I get the new direction. And then I have right. So now I go through this while loop again with direction right, and then bottom, and then left, and then back to top. So this while loop tackles each direction at a time. And then we're done. Now we just return the result and let's run this. Verify it succeeds and it's good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a tricky one to code out, but I hope it helped you a lot. And if you're interested in more content like this, especially the blind 75 list, be sure to subscribe and like the video below. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.